Hey guys, I had posted a link to Brother John Elving's video on the Facebook page that is called Wake Up Reading that is associated with this YouTube channel, Exposing Bethel, and Torben Sondergaard's friends got in touch with me because I had posted that Torben was in prison for child trafficking along with his gun smuggling, and they tried to correct me of what they believe is going on. So I'm going to share that post in a second, but that post mentions Todd Bentley as one of the people in Torben Sondergaard's direct circle, and so we're going to start off with reading this. Before his conversion... Canadian evangelist Todd Bentley knows well the power of a testimony to convince the lost that no one is too far gone to find the healing in Christ. Recently, he also learned that when a secular media digs into one's testimony, confession may not be good for the soul. In a lengthy feature article published in the September 2002 issue of Charisma magazine, Bentley, 26 years old, acknowledged that at age 14 as a juvenile, he had been arrested for assault. A March 2001 story about him that was published in the report a secular conservative political magazine published in British Columbia and Alberta, Canada, offered a similar report. But the report story backfired when the mother of the victim of the assault read the article and informed the magazine that Bentley's assault had been sexual and ha and he had molested her son. So he's Todd Bentley in Charisma magazine is just saying that he was arrested for assault. That's Todd Bentley's admission in Charisma magazine, but it backfired because it had been sexual And he had molested her son, also a minor at the time. Bentley served several months in jail for the crime. And five years after he gave his life to Christ, today, crusades around the world are producing reports of healing miracles and thousands of salvations. This X on Ravi Zechariah's hand is a sign of the dead. It has to do with the cult of Osiris. It's the same reason that the code orange Freemasonry of Stephen Furtick and Joyce Myers and um, Carl Lentz, same reason that they keep doing the X arms crossed hand sign, same cult of the dead for Ravi Zechariah and Ravi got in trouble also. So, this is Torben. This guy does a fake leg lengthening. Okay, back in 1994, I went to Youth Explosion. It was part of Youth with a Mission for the high school kids during the summer. We went to one week of training in Salida, Colorado with... Uh, Floyd McClung and while we were there a kid from Australia from Tasmania Australia his name was Lucas kept telling everybody that there were people who were doing leg lengthening that God was doing leg lengthening well that's the same time period that Torben was around those guys and Todd White was around those guys and Chris Valentin was around inside youth at the same time in the late 80s 1990s 
there's groups of people who start doing this thing. Torben's leg lengthening trick. I worked in the magic industry in Las Vegas. You can go on YouTube. I think the guy's name is Darren something. He's just a secular um, magician and he exposes what these guys are doing as a sleight of hand magic trick. They're just messing with your heads. They don't have the ability to make a leg lengthen. They're moving ankles. They're readjusting hips. They're readjusting ankles, but they are not making growth. That's fake. So Torben does this thing where he baptizes people. And then while they're being baptized, they have no control over themselves because the Holy Spirit is making the demons shake out of them, which has nothing to do with scripture. And the stuff that these people are doing is all connected to Freemasonry and the new apostolic reformation are Freemason sexual cult pastors. If you go back and you watch the video about the 200 year old IHOP Kansas City sexual cult Mike Bickle runs a 200-year-old sex cult. It's mustard seed Freemasonry. It comes from Count Zinzendorf. They've copied Count Zinzendorf. They've got the new sex cult right now that they're exposing. It got exposed 11 years ago with uh, Tyler Deaton and his when they killed his wife. This situation is going through the whole cult. So here's the post. This is the fifth or sixth pastor from this group of Kansas City prophets that has been busted, and no one wants to show the connection. Bob Jones had women strip naked in his office. We had the Ravi Zachariah mess. We had Paul Kane being gay. We have Torben Sondergaard in prison for child trafficking, Todd Bentley, convicted pedophile, I'll add more. And I put up this link to Brother John's video. Facts. If just one would have spoken up 20 years ago. Let's go back to put these things in order. So... Anna Dan is personal friends with Torben and she was inside one of Torben's videos and they had several times a week where Torben was contacting them from jail. And so she wrote me four days ago and said, Torben wasn't in jail for child trafficking. And I wrote back, I watched the whole case it was gun smuggling and child trafficking. She said, we know him and have close friends who are in daily slash weekly contact with him. We followed the whole case on a near personal basis. He may not be teaching full Torah, but... I sincerely believe he's genuine. Again, we have known him personally. This is not who Torben is. I wrote back. I listened to him say on his phone interview while in jail. You may have missed that show. These Freemasonic Luciferians teaching Kabbalah and calling it Christian. I heard him say in his own words that the government was accusing him, maybe not charges, I could have misunderstood that part, but he said the government had accused him of child trafficking. She wrote back, yes, the government did accuse him. Remember that Satan will accuse people who are being sincere and accusations don't mean guilt. We know him. We have sat under his teachings and have gone out and ministered with him. We were in a movie documentary with him as well. We received monthly, if not video, or we received monthly, 
if not weekly, video updates from him while in prison. We know his fa- his wife and family. This is not who Torben is, and I'm repeating that to you. I don't doubt that a good bit of what you have shared about others is true. We are thankful for the way Yah used this man in our lives, even though we have progressed in our journey. We have also, he was also held in prison under charges. That means that there was charges that he was obese. Now, there weren't charges of him being a human trafficker. There were accusations from the government that he was a child trafficker, but they are holding him right now for being fat. It was all very strange. Yes, it's very strange because what they're doing is they're afraid that Torben is a flight risk and that he will go back around children again. And so they will make up a charge of him being fat to be able to hold him in prison so that they don't have to charge him with child trafficking because if they don't have enough proof right now, then they wouldn't be able to charge him a second time possibly in, is it Sweden or wherever he's being held at. And so whatever are their laws, they're doing what they believe is correct for keeping this pedophile off of the streets so that he can't be get, be able to get to the other children. Now, Heidi Baker is doing the exact same thing. The, they are going around the world and they are creating 501c3 nonprofits that go and champion for children, but really they're taking the children from their parents and putting them in the hands of other occultists. Let me keep going with this. He was also in prison under the charges that he was obese. It was all very strange. He used the opportunity to lay down his life in prison and minister to the inmates there, bringing about significant freedom for several. We do pray that he comes to see the whole Torah way of life. This is me writing her back. Torben is a Satanist by his own actions. He proves this. By all his false words, he proves this. You have some strange westernized idea of the faith once preached if you think Torben is not one of the wolves in sheep's clothing. He has the habits of the wolves exampled in every scripture that talks about you will heap up for yourself, teachers, to tickle your ears. In the faith, we are only to hear the word read out loud. The thoughts of men, Torben included, are the word added to scripture that twists scripture from its original delivery. Paul said, if we, or an angel from heaven, comes giving any other word than that which has already been established, let that man be accursed. Todd White is insane. Sex traffickers are not our enemies. This is a video on the channel. While he's wearing a Baphomet shirt, he is saying that sex traffickers are not our enemies. I pray that Torben comes to the correct way of life too, but he is guilty of more than you are aware of. I have 15,000 hours of research into this cult, Even if he was only teaching that praying in tongues is okay, that alone would make him a false teacher. This playlist is the last reformation on the YouTube channel exposing, or sorry, um, revealing truth 911. 
This is the last Reformation, Torben Sondergaard. This is his playlist that shows all the incorrect biblical teachings. Everything that he's saying that doesn't line up with scripture. And there's a list of videos that explains his false teaching. Torben is Antichrist and a puppet of Lucifer, St. Germain, the esoteric head of Freemasonry and the New Age movements. This whole new apostolic reformation leadership is Freemasons working together. I have near 300 video proofs on the YouTube channel. If you have a goat farm, you raise kids. Bethel Church gave Goat Lord Farms $375,000 last year. Goat Lord Farms is a religious organization. It's a church at Brian and Jen Johnson's physical house, and they were given by Bethel $375,000. So Brian and Jen Johnson got more than $1,000 per day for having Goat Lord Farms, and Goat Lord is Templar Freemason Baphomet worship. Three of Bill Johnson's sister-in-law's businesses use the courts to kidnap children and use pedophile logos. They are taking the children, they are giving them to Bethel-approved foster care, and Bethel is using courts. Their Kimberly is taking the children saying that the parents aren't doing what Kimberly and Bethel want the parents in Reading to be doing with their children. They step in between the children and the courts. They make the courts kidnap the children out of the house. Then they give the children to other occultists and pay them for foster care. And what do you raise at a goat, for, at a gar goat farm? Because this is Goat Lord Farms that Brian and Jen Johnson own. They raise kids. Goats have kids. These people kidnap kids and they make the kids into a commodity. And Bethel is stealing money from the government by having Kimberly Johnson own three 501c3 religious organizations that are getting kidnapping children. We've got other videos about it. Bethel designed the kidnapping of Sherry Papini. IHOP Kansas City is a 200-year-old Freemason Count Zinzendorf sex cult. The accused pedophile Dan Schneider of Nickelodeon exposed Bethel of child kidnapping ring using semiotic symbolism. Four of Dan's staff members on the production of this show were convicted pedophiles. I love you guys, but there is a sex cult who is kidnapping children in our town and nobody wants to explain them. They all just want to stay quiet. IHOP Kansas City has started to get a little bit more talking about what's going on because of Mike Bickle. All of it can be traced back to Freemasonry. Freemasonry is the religion tasked with spreading the light of Lucifer to the world. The New Apostolic Reformation is teaching the Kabbalah. The Kabbalah is the foundation upon which all Freemason teachings are based. These people are Kabbalists. They are practicing the doctrine of the fallen angels, and they are telling you that it's Christian. So, Torben's friends who think that Torben is righteous... I'm sorry. I truly am very sorry that you guys have been taken in by these actors. What you need to do, according to scripture, is you need to repent. If I were in your shoes, this is where I would start. I would go over and search the Olive Branch Fellowship and Repentance. These two videos will, walk up, will pop up. And this is where I'd start trying to get back to the front of the book matters, the Old Testament matters, 
the New Testament matters, the Old Testament was predicting what was going to happen in the New Testament, and the New Testament testifies to the fact that the prophecies in the Old Testament came to fruition. You can't have a faith that is the faith once preached that we are to earnestly contend for. If it's been once preached, that means that we don't throw out one or the other of the front of the book or the back of the book. The whole thing is one book. It means that we don't go into mystical Christianity that comes out of the New Age movement and has attached itself completely taken over the new apostolic reformation. It means we teshuva. We turn our faces towards God's face because Yeshua, he never was out of repentance. He always had his face turned towards God's face. That's why he said, I only say the words that the father said. He only repeated him repeating God's words and our faces are now supposed to be turned towards God's face and God's face and his will and his words and his faith done his way and not men's theology about God's word, twisting God's word and making it so it has no effect in our lives. I love you guys. Repent. Run back to your first love.